Hey y'all, uh, Mr. Marlowe here. We're going to do a video on scale ratio today. Scale ratio is the comparison or the ratio of a measurement off of a model compared to the actual measurement of that thing. Yeah. And the model can be a map. Even Google Maps, even your apps on your phone, there is a scale ratio involved. Uh, it can be a drawing. The thing that most people are nowadays are probably familiar with is, is like blueprints. Um, but it can be a three-dimensional model. Uh, models can be larger than the actual size. We're used to them being smaller than actual size, but they can even be actual size if you're just trying to see how something looks and you don't want to do the whole thing. Okay. It's always written with the model measurement first. Now, if you're going to do calculations like we're going to do in a few minutes, you're going to want it written as a fraction, the model measurement on top of the actual measurement. Most of the time, though, it's presented as what I call the digital clock ratio, with the model first and colon and then the actual measurement. Okay? It's important to remember, especially for this second uh, first calculation we're going to do. In the scale ratio, the model measurement, the top measurement, or the first one here, is usually going to be a 1. Your scale ratio is going to be like 1 to 2 or something like that with a 1 first. But so again, scale ratio is the comparison of a model measurement to the actual measurement. That model can be a drawing, it can be a map, it can even be a picture. Um, if this video is shot correctly with everything lined up right, um, it's even can be done. We can figure out the scale of that if we wanted to. But anyway, it can be anything as long as we have the model measurement compared to the actual measurement. And like I said, it can be written this way. This is how we're going to want to do calculations. So let's do three types of problems. Okay, there are three basic types of scale ratio problems. And in my classroom, these are the three that we work with. Um, the first one up here asks us to calculate the scale ratio, okay? So I know you guys can read, but I'll read it for you. The problem says, what is the scale ratio, or I'll call it scale a lot of times, just out of habit, of a model if the model is four inches long and the actual object is eight feet long, okay? So how I suggest you do this is, first of all, what are you finding? It says what, right here, is, and then it says scale ratio. So I know right away, I'm going to try to find the scale ratio. Well, what do I know about scale ratio? If I step back over here, I know that the model goes over the actual, and I also know that I want this, the top to be 1. All right, so I'm going to start. Put a 1, okay? I don't know what the bottom number is for that, so I'm going to leave that blank. And then, what else do I know? Well, keep reading. What is the scale ratio of a model if the model is 4 inches? So I know that the model measurement is 4 inches. So once again, I know that the model measurement goes on top. So I'm going to put four inches right here. Okay? Keep reading. And the actual object is eight feet. Okay? I know that the actual object, it says 18 feet. I'm sorry. is 18 feet, not eight. So I put that on the bottom because the model goes over the actual. The only thing that you need to check is to make sure that the 4 inches and the 18 feet are talking about the same thing. And here we go. 4 inches long, 18 feet long. We're ready to do our calculation. I'm going to go ahead and stick a variable in here like this. And to solve a proportion, the shortcut that I use with my students is just to say, hey, you cross multiply the diagonal that's complete and then divide by the number you didn't use. 1 times 18 is the diagonal I have. So x is equal to 1 times 18 divided by 4. 
Okay? I'm sure we can all do that in our head. Judges probably doesn't like to make mistakes, especially on camera. So my answer is 4.5. So come back over here. Replace my X with 4.5. I have my scale ratio, and all I gotta do is fill in the units. One inch, 4.5 feet, and there's my scale ratio, okay? So, we just picked out what were we supposed to find, gathered our information, cross multiplied and divide, okay? So that is how you find the scale ratio when you're given a model measurement and it's corresponding and that's an important word. It's got to be the corresponding or the matching measurement from the actual size. So let's take a quick look at this second kind of problem. The model of a building is built on a scale of one inch to one, uh, one inch to 25 feet. So, and again, I left out the word scale ratio. It, it's just habit. Um, but here we go. Scale, and there's my scale ratio. That's the first thing I'm going to write down, and I'm going to write it down as a fraction. One inch over 25 feet. Okay? So the first thing I try to do is I try to find the scale ratio. In the first problem, I was having to find the scale ratio, but in this one, I'm giving it. So now I'm ready. So I'm going to keep reading as soon as I get my proportion ready to roll here. How tall is the model? That's what I'm looking for. How tall is the model? That's my missing number. Where does the model measurement go? Always goes on top. There we go. There's my missing number. If the building, the actual thing, is 575 feet, we put that on the bottom. Okay? So now I'm ready to do my calculation. Once again, the shortcut is that I cross multiply the diagonal that I have, one times 575. We know that that's 575. And then we divide it by 25. So again, don't wanna make any mistakes. So 575 divided by 25 is 23. And it is important that you know what that 23 is. It's not feet. If you go back to the scale ratio, it tells you that it's 23 inches. And there you go. So that is how you use the scale ratio to find the model measurement when you're given the actual size. So there's only one other kind of problem to do. And that is this one. Okay, once again, I'm going to start reading. If the scale ratio, see this time I got the word ratio in there, of a map is, so here we go. I now know what the scale ratio is, so I'm going to write that down as a fraction. One inch, 12 miles. That may not be the official abbreviation for miles, but that's what I'm going to use. All right, 12 miles. Find the actual distance. So I'm trying to find the actual distance. What does that mean? That means that I am missing my bottom number because the actual distance always goes on the bottom. Find the actual distance, x, between two towns if they are 5.25 inches apart on the map. The map measurement, in this case, the map is your model. So I put my 5.25 up here, and all I gotta do is cross, multiply, and divide. The diagonal that is complete is 12 times 5.25. And then divide by the number I didn't use, and of course we know that you don't actually have to divide by one, it's not gonna change anything. My answer is gonna be what I get when I do 12 times 5.25.
and that is 63, and that is the actual distance. The actual distance is measured in miles here, so that's my answer. So again, scale ratio, there are three types of problems that you can do with scale ratio. All you have to remember is that the model measurement goes over top of the matching or corresponding actual measurement. And you can find the scale ratio if you're given corresponding measurements from the model and from the actual. There's that problem. You can find how big the model is if you're given the scale ratio and the actual size. And you can find the actual size if you're given the scale ratio and a model measurement. So I hope this is helpful. We'll see you next time.